Yo! Sorry for the wind. What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Yes, the pest control videos are back. As you can tell, I've been fishing too much, but we're ready to go for the pigeons. If you are new to these videos, I just want to tell you that I do not get paid by any of these local businesses to trap these pigeons. Yes, I do pigeon hunting, and yes, this is pest control. Two ways of pigeon pest control, right? Uh, this is my local town, hometown. There goes two pigeons on the roof. I'm excited. But local town, local business, uh, I'm just helping out my local business owners. Pigeons in my town are a huge problem. So over all these years, the pigeons have became a huge nuisance to all these business owners, and we're here to help them. All right, we're in here. When I say old buildings, I mean some old buildings. These buildings are all really cool. The smell of them reminds you of like an old museum. I love doing this. This is one of my favorite parts. When I get a new uh, opportunity to trap on a business here in my hometown, um, I'm always excited how to get up to the roof because every access is always different. This one's really cool. Like I said, really, really cool. By the way, I just got permission on another spot. That'll be in the next video. Oof. It's always a hike. Getting up here. Oh, wow. This is a little bitty stairwell. No joke. Here we go, y'all. There goes two flying. Oh, look at that. Dang. Wow. That didn't take long. Gee, money. We done hit the lot, old boys and gals. Look at that. Holy cow. One. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one looks really cool. A lot of you guys know Preston. He's always on a lot of videos with me. He was like, why do you think you haven't trapped <clears throat> a banded pigeon yet? And I'm like, man, I don't know. That's a good question. There's a huge flock of pigeons over here. Well, that's good luck right there, guys. Smash the thumbs up button. But helping my local friends, business owners out here, helping them out. This is the way to do it. The humane way to do it, you know? Wow, that's awesome. I came to this spot first uh, because our next spot, which is, this is, this is my water bucket. It catches rainwater. That way we can use it to refill and they are out of water. So they must have just ran out. So before we put them in the bucket, we got to do some baiting. Put some new bait in here. Wow, that's awesome. Throw some out here just to get their attention. That'll be good. Okay. And put some over there. All right, let's get these bad boys out. Man, that's awesome. First set of the year, and we are in it. <laughs> We're going to save the good looking bird for last, but as we trap them, I always pull them out and show them. First bird is a uh, blue bar, kind of young, not real old, not bad. We're gonna run through them pretty quickly, guys. Second bird, this is why we waited to trap. This is why we waited as long as we did to sit the traps because that is a very young pigeon, blue bar. It's just very, very young birds. We had to wait uh, for the pigeons to become um, non-reliant on mama. You know what I mean? So again, Decent mature bird. Always check for them bands, boys. There we go. Fourth bird, I think. We're at four. Blue check. Young bird. Very young. Now, I am going to have to get a different bucket. Uh, when uh, it gets hot, the bucket is just too much. And when I'm, when I'm walking through businesses, I like to use a bucket so people don't see 
pigeons flopping around, you know? Here we go. Like I said, we're gonna leave the cool looking dude for the end. First bird out of the right side, very young blue bar. He's got some white flights on him. This is awesome. We're back at it, boys. All right, sixth bird. Easy. Oh, he's a mean dude. Blue bar, young bird. Jeez, guy, you're going in the bucket. Easy. Okay, this is our last bird. Seventh bird. And he is really cool. Wow. <laughs> awesome. You never know what you're going to get. Look at him. Let me get a hold of him. He has a huge bird. Uh, good age on him. Awesome colors. Then white flights. You just got to love it. And awesome coloring around his neck. You can see he has some white splotches around his eyes. Very, very, very cool bird. He's a keeper. So, that is that. We are baited. All I have to do now is refill with water. And we'll be off to the next spot. Oh, that's not good. Our water feeder is broken this trip. I'm going to have to bring a new one next time. But, as you can tell, we're baited up. We got what water is in there. It's going to leak out, but at least there'll be a trough. <sighs> Could tell the top of the plastic has gotten so hot from the sun that it's actually cracked and uh just lets it leak out the bottom but there we go seven at the first trap i did not think it was going to be that good man the next spot some of you have been there a lot of you from last year have been there but the next spot's where we have two traps and it's amazing Alrighty, next spot this one I'm very excited to check for the first time. I'm looking up here right now. And this is where we trap. This is the Kansas Costumes Fair. And y'all, if you have never been here, and if you're a uh, space exploration fan like myself, if you're ever passing through Kansas, you have to come check it out. It has so many uh, really old space artifacts, everything from uh, capsules and... Uh, I don't even know so much stuff it's very very cool they have just now revamped it and it is amazing anyways we're gonna head up here i'm not gonna be able to film much in there uh, but when we get on the roof that is a red pigeon up there in auburn Ooh, we, well, i'm feeling good about this one let's go you guys gonna be all right in there good to go oh sorry didn't mean to upset you let's roll but you guys are going to have to go in the bucket for now. Haha. Uh -huh. We're here. If you are new here, like I was saying, that's the access to this roof. Way sketchier than the last one. And we have two traps up here, like I had said. And one is up there. So first one, showing good results so far. I'll take it. Here we are. Yeah, buddy. This is fun. It isn't hot out yet. So let's see. Oh, whoa. Buddy just got out. He went right through the door. All right. Well, that's no good. Uh, blue bar, and he looks kind of neat. He just has some white flights. Let's get these. Actually, we'll wait on those. Let's head up there, get those birds, if there are any, in the bucket, and then we'll get these. Are on the ladder here is our trap and man nothing in it lots of birds flying around right here though look at all these pigeons this is what I'm talking about guys pigeons in my town are a huge issue they hover over uh, the entry doors of these businesses and poop all over the sidewalks it gets gross. You pay thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, for new signage on the front of your building, on the face of your building, and they destroy it. They get in there, they make nests, they poop all over it. This is me helping them. If you guys like these videos, smash a thumbs up. Come on, let's get this video. If we could do 2,000 likes, that's going to tell me something. And hopefully it would tell YouTube something. Two birds in this one. This uh, really young guy is pretty cool. Oh, he is a baby. Wow. Hear him squeaking? 
Look at his white flights though. Cool little bird. There you are. Let's go, buddy. After we're done here, we're gonna head home and we're gonna put him in the loft. It's where I keep them until we uh, do something else with them. Two young birds here. I don't think the population of birds is nearly as abundant over here as at the other spot. Mind you, the trap up there, if it doesn't produce in the next week, I'm probably gonna pull it. I think uh, it might be the game plan, only running one trap up here and right here. Not on any of these rough, other two rooftops, because y'all know I had one up here, and dude, it's sketchy. I don't need to be risking my life for some pigeons, okay? That's first of all. Second of all, um, just don't need two traps up here. So I think I'm gonna end up moving that one to the new spot. So I think we'll do that on the next video. If you guys have any questions regarding what I'm doing, uh, the brand of products that I use, or if you have any comments of what bait I should use, the reason I use corn, guys, is it's very visible, okay? And all birds, all birds like corn. I mean, pretty much. It's very visible and the birds can see it while they're flying over the rooftop, so it gets their attention. On a rooftop like this with all these rocks, that's why I have these black mats underneath the trap to expose that corn so the birds can see it. The corn would just fall right through the, uh, the rocks. So, any tips, any questions you guys have, drop them down in the comment section below, please. Uh, my high school football team still plays right there at that stadium. That's where I went to my football games as a high schooler and in college. And it's just uh, pretty special to help out these local businesses and just do my part and uh, get to make fun videos for you guys. What are you doing, man? Hi, Frederick. How are you? Hi, Soph. How are you? And Jackson, he's over there chilling. So here's our friends. So we ended the day uh, with, what do we have in there? Seven. We should have, we only have seven. We should have nine. Huh. When I loaded them in here, one got out and then one got out uh, when we were trying to get them out of the trap. So, long story short, first check of the season and uh, nine birds, seven birds in the bag. That is pretty darn good. I'm liking that. I can deal with that. If you guys like these videos, you've got to let me know if you have any cool ideas. I'm thinking maybe like an Amazon, how about like an Amazon pigeon trap challenge? Or give me some ideas, come on. Fill the comment section with good ideas. I would greatly appreciate it, y'all. But here is the pigeon loft. We're gonna get them put in here. Now, what I got going on, so on this side, I have my regular birds. And what I mean by regular birds, um, these are, I'll just show you real quick. I need to change their water. We're gonna have to do some chores when we're done here. But check it out. These are my loft birds. Um, just a chilling. What are you guys doing? How are you? And then here's all these up here. And then we got these guys. We're gonna fill up with pigeons really quick. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have to split this differently to get some more room. Maybe I put my loft birds back in the little part and then this whole area here would be for the feral pigeons like these. Because at this rate, this little thing gets full really fast. And these are some from last season that I still have. Um, so we're gonna be full really quickly. Like I said, what do I do with these pigeons? I'm sure a lot of you are wondering that are new to the channel. Well, you know what? Dogs like Frederick that are at the dog trainers uh, all off season for waterfowl hunters and upland bird hunting, they use pigeons to train those dogs in various ways, various manners, lots of different tricks, lots of uh, different release systems that trains the dogs with live birds. So. Long story short, that's one way for me to get rid of these pigeons is I have a lot of dog training buddies. So I provide them with birds and they really appreciate it because 
pigeons are hard to find uh, for dog training. So everyone's always looking. So that's kind of what I do with them at the end is uh, provide my friends with what they need. And that's these. You can't just go to the store and buy pigeons. You know what I mean? So it's, I kind of have a special deal trapping them um, for my buddies. And it's a lot of fun along the way making these videos for you guys. So what, we, uh, what I usually do so I don't lose any, open that up. We're all going to come out. Go on. Go on. Come on. Go on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Out you go. Out you go. Go on. That's a young one. He don't know what he's doing. There we go. Now we're integrating them into the loft. Look at that. We got some. We got a couple eggs in there. But like I said, we're gonna be full really, really quickly here. So all my uh, buddies out there who I usually provide pigeons to, get a hold of me. I got enough to get rid of already. I really appreciate you guys being here. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to run around town and get permission on rooftops and have a lot of fun trapping these pigeons. And I wouldn't be able to help out my friends, my local business owners here in my hometown. That means a lot to me and I'm really proud to be able to do that and spend my time helping someone else. Like I said, if you guys have any questions about these videos, any tips, if you have any tips for me, maybe a new bait, uh, maybe a new watering system, maybe a new trap, maybe you guys know of a better pigeon trap out there than what I'm using, put the brand down in the comment section. I'm always down in the comments. You guys help me out uh, with video ideas so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Frederick, how are you? We miss you on the channel, buddy. I know a lot of you want the pigeon hunts and I've been scouting the wheat's getting ready to get cut and it's about to be on. Hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload, but thank you all for being here. Hey, if you haven't uh, checked out my podcast, we do waterfowl podcasts and uh, waterfowl episode special guests. We give away hunts to come here to hunt. To... Last year we gave a hunt uh, to go to Alaska for two lucky guys. So. Check out my podcast. It is always linked down below. Thank you all, but until next time.